On this video, we're going to talk about a nine-year-old girl named Avery, uh, Avery Watts. She has um, homozygous familial hypercholesterolemia. Now, <clears throat> that in and, of, in and of itself is fairly rare, but her parents have heterozygous uh, FH. That's not rare. That's one in 200. In fact, we've all heard of cystic fibrosis and multiple sclerosis. Those are far less common than familial hypercholesterolemia. Now, I, said, I made a couple of words, though, that um, homozygous and heterozygous. We'll talk about those a little bit later. Um, but as we do, first of all, and before we meet uh, Avery, Let's uh, just get a real quick review of genes and genetics. We all know this double helix that Watson and Crick uh, theorized long ago and got a, uh, some big prize for it, probably a Nobel. Um, <clears throat> and then we know that this is curled up and um, forms a chromosome. The chromosome is basically, this is a pair of chromosomes. They're attached here. And there, we have 23 of those. Now, these stripes are genes, represent genes. A gene is a section of the DNA. And it can be anywhere from as small as a few dozen to as large as several hundred, many, many hundred over a thousand. So you'll see these images, and that'll help you. Hopefully, this uh, review will help you remember that as we go into these images. Now, these are four chromosomes, as you see. And here's a hetero, heterozygous, you've got a disease gene on one side and a wild type, and wild type just means normal gene. Here you've got just the opposite. You've got a normal gene or wild type, and then you've got a disease gene. Now Avery has the disease gene in both categories, both sides of that chromosome, and her mom and dad each are, have to be heterozygous in order for her to get this. But we'll go a little bit deeper into that a little bit later. We'll actually talk some about cystic fibrosis. Um, but before we do, let's go in and meet Avery. This is the, you can find it, uh, this video. I'm just going to show it from uh, the FH channel. I'm Michelle Watt, and my daughter Avery was diagnosed with homozygous familial hypercholesterolemia at age six. Avery has HOFH, which is a rare form of familial hypercholesterolemia. It's very severe. She has a heart murmur. She already has aortic stenosis. Avery does LDL apheresis every two weeks. She has a port in her chest with a catheter that runs up to her carotid artery. They basically filter out the cholesterol from her blood and then pump it back into her. Avery is now nine. She uh, loves to dance. She does all different kinds of dance. She's a gymnast. She's very sensitive to what others are going through, and she's the first person to, um, to go help a friend or to go be a friend to somebody. She's a very special little girl. She's a very strong little girl. Dance helps Avery both by spending time with her good girlfriends that are the younger girls that are her age as well as the older girls who really look out for her. Dance has also given her an outlet to express herself and to express her feelings and to advocate for, for FH and for all those other kids out there with rare diseases. Let's go back and review some of the uh, genetics uh, that we talked about before. Again, as a reminder, the DNA is the double helix. It gets wrapped around many, many times to form a chromosome. Uh, the mom's and the dad's uh, uh, contribution are on either side of the chromosome. These stripes are the genes. The genes are uh, dozens to hundreds of nucleotides uh, paired together in the DNA. You, you look at the chromosomes that way, and, a, uh, and um, Avery is homozygous. She has the disease on both sides. 
which means both her mom and dad had to be at least heterozygous. And I'm assuming uh, from the discussion that uh, both mom and dad were heterozygous. Um, when you have two heterozygotes, meaning hetero meaning one, uh, different, zygote meaning um, allele or uh, different DNA material. So <clears throat> you got a mom and a dad, both of whom have uh, two different versions. Uh, one quarter of the children are going to have this. Half of the children will have will be heterozygotes like them, and um, the other quarter, the remaining 25%, will be children that have the the uh, wild type or normal um, genes. Now, again, why is this interesting? Well, it's it's interesting because this is uh, it kills a lot of people, as you saw. It's a big deal for Avery and her health. Um, <clears throat> and uh, if you look at this disease, uh, 14,000 people viewed our videos uh, on this channel yesterday. If the um, prevalence is actually two, one uh, every 200, then that means 70 people that viewed these videos yesterday alone have this disease. Um, heterozygotes don't have it as bad as uh, homozygotes. As you, as you heard in there, homozygotes have to have apheresis and um, uh, heterozygotes sometimes do. Heterozygotes, I mean, homozygotes will get, um, homozygotes like Avery will, can get heart attack and stroke in their 20s and even teens. Heterozygotes tend to have, uh, need surgery in their 30s and 40s um, or even events in those ages. Now, <clears throat> So if 70 people viewed the channel yesterday that had it, here's the other statistic that's scary. Only seven people knew about it. The vast majority of the people with this disease um, don't know they have it. Now, I thought I was going to show you uh, and discuss uh, cystic fibrosis and the two by two table. Unfortunately, again, I'm having some tech challenges with my uh, uh, the video component, uh, the visual component. The bottom line is I was just going to go in and show that 25% of um, when two heterozygotes marry with uh, an autosomal recessive disorder, neither of them has the disease, one quarter of their children will have the disease. Uh, cystic, this is cystic fibrosis. It's recessive. Um, FH is not. It's... Uh, it's a version of dominant. So uh, again, there's always complications, but the simple part of the story is be aware and talk to your friends, ask them about just what is their uh, cholesterol level. If their LDL levels are over 150, they need to be checked for this. And um, uh, there are a lot of resources uh, to lead them to. Thank you very much if you've made it this far.